my name is Rodney Hill. In this video, we're going to cover upgrading the software on our ICB or ITB tool. So I have an ICB tool with me today. I'm connected to the tool wirelessly over a wireless network. If you have any question on how to connect to your tool wirelessly, you can follow our other videos. You could also do this update via the port on the back, the micro USB connection on the back of the tool. So let's get started. If we dig into the software here, um, I'm on the home screen of my tool. If I want to do a software update, I'll go to the integrated controller tool menu. I'll select the software tab here on the left. And then I will browse to the software version that I want to install. And if there's ever a question about what software version you currently have, that'll be in your current version up here at the top. We have uh, version 3.4.5 running. And we previously, in our stored version of the tool, this is the last partition of the tool, like the last software we ran, we had 3.4.6, which is actually the version we're going to update to uh, today. But I'm going to browse like I'm doing a new software update here. I'm going to select the software file that we have. Just so happens I stored it on my desktop. So I'm going to click the desktop button here. I'm going to grab the software package. It'll be in a zip file. Please leave it in a zip file. The tool will do the unzipping and everything when the file arrives. I'm going to click the continue button and it's going to give me a warning. It's going to say selected file contains 3.4.6. You have a different version, or an older version, 3.4.5. Do you want to replace the controller software? And I'm going to hit continue, because yes, I do want to replace it. So this is going to take a few minutes. It's going to send the files to the tool, and then there's a lot of work that has to happen on the tool side. And in a minute here, I'll get a, a request that'll let me know that I can reboot the tool now, or I can just leave the software in the stored partition and activate it at another time, perhaps when I have a break between uh, shifts or at the end of my shift, uh, end of my day. All right, so now our software has updated and the tool is giving me a dialogue wanting to know whether I want to restart now or close. If I choose the close option, it's just going to put the tool in my store partition that I can activate at another time. I'm going to go ahead and continue here. The tool is going to reboot and load the new software on the tool. So I've hit the button here to restart. We'll see the lights go down here on the tool in a second and we'll see a few things start to happen as the tool begins the upgrade process. So some of my lights have gone off already. I still have my battery light on here. When the tool powers off, we'll see uh, some different light combinations that let us know how the upgrade process is proceeding. So the tool started back up now. I have both of my direction indicators on. I have my red and, yellow, red and green flashing that lets me know that the application's loading on the tool. And in just a second here, I expect that I will see the white light start to flash again as it actually loads the new software to the tool, and there it goes. And when it's finished, I'll get the green red again, and then eventually the tool will come back up. I'll see the battery icon on, and I'll know that the update is complete. All right, so now I have my green and red LEDs flashing. That lets me know that the update's complete and it's now loading the application on the tool. And again, when it finishes here, I'll see my battery icon and my direction indicator will indicate which way the tool is connected. If I had it connected to, as a wireless client, I'll also see my blue Wi-Fi icon come on as it connects up to, to Wi-Fi again. If we look in my web interface here on the tool and the software, you can see right now I've lost my connection to the tool. That's because it's restarting. When the tool finishes rebooting, it will either refresh on its own or I can click refresh in my browser window and bring that interface up uh, again. So we just finished here. The tool has come up. The battery light is on. My direction ring's on. I can see it's connected to Wi-Fi. And my browser has automatically refreshed the page and is loading the interface now with this new software. So when this comes up, we'll go in and we'll verify that the software update went OK and take a look at our other settings and see if anything has changed. Now I can see I'm back to the main web interface of the tool. On my main screen, I'm gonna to go to my integrated controller tool menu, take a look at my software, and I can see now that my current software version is 3.4.6. So my update was successful, and if I look around here and check my settings, I can see that my tightening program and my sources and my batches are all where I expect them to be. So no settings have changed on the tool. We've just updated the software uh, to the latest version. That's all there is to it, to updating a ICB or ITB tool. If you have any questions, please contact your Atlas Copco representative. And thanks for watching.